what's up everybody? It's your boy Hugh here from Creative. I'm here with Johanna from Sennheiser. Yeah, hi everybody. Welcome to the Sennheiser booth. So here we're showing Ambio products and one of the products we show is the Sennheiser Ambio VR mic. It really enables you to capture 3D audio and, and enhance your 360 video with uh, spatial audio. Nice. Let's go close in and check out the Ambio mic together. So this is the Ambio VR microphone. It's a microphone that we released, uh, I think, one and a half years ago. And it's an Ambisonics microphone, so it enables you to capture Ambisonics audio. Ambisonics is the format that is used on the big platforms like YouTube and Facebook that enables you to uh, to play spatial audio with uh, 360 videos. So in a way it's a counterpart to a 360 camera uh, and that enables you to have the full uh, immersive experience uh, by just placing that next to the 360 camera. Nice. So uh, for people who own it already, any light professional tips and tricks to how to use this uh, MBO mic in like maybe like crazy outside environment? Yeah, so I mean the, the two things that are really important to keep in mind when you use this microphone is uh, the order of, of the output is really important. So when you hook it up to your audio device, really make sure the four channels are in the correct order. They have a label, one, two, three, four. It's really important to keep this order correct, otherwise it's going to mess up the, the spatial sound field. And the second tip, uh, tip is make sure that all the gains on your inputs, so it has four XLR outputs, one for each of the capsules. Uh, when you record this, really make sure all of these have the same kind of gain setting. There's different recorders, like also field recorders, that enable you to to have a link on the four gains, so you just change one knob and like they're all linked. Uh, there's uh, two recorders of Zoom, for example, that are also compatible with this microphone, and they do this conversion to the Ambisonic B format in the recorder, and it also has this feature of gain linking, which is super useful for, for recording on the go. Uh, the format this uh, microphone records in is called Ambisonics A format, mm -hmm. uh, but the format that is used at, le at least at YouTube and Facebook is Ambisonics B format. Yeah. So you need some kind of conversion to do, to do that, and we offer a free pr uh, plugin that you can download from the website that enables you to do this conversion. But now with the two Zoom recorders, I think it's H4 and H8, uh, uh, you're able to do this conversion from A to B format within the recorder itself. So when you're done with the recording, you just take out the files, put them together with your video, and you can actually just upload these files and have the full experience. So how do I know? So let's say the camera is pointing in one direction, yeah. and the mic pointing in a direction. How do I sync the actual direction of the B format and the actual footage? So the best way to align this is when you have a 360 camera, like you stitch the video together and you have some kind of center point of the, vid of the video, right? Mm -hmm. So at some point, the middle of the video is kind of your reference. Yeah. And in best case, this is also where you have the label of the front label of the microphone. The center of your final stitch video should match with the front label of the of the microphone. Okay, nice. And maybe also another tip, like on location, um, try like put a little note down, like which way the front label was facing. Uh, so put a little note down saying the front label was facing on the camera, or? this or this chair, or I don't know, oh. just a little note. So when you're doing the post production, you actually know where the microphone was facing, because many times like. Uh, an editor like rotates the picture just you know to have it edit and to have it nice and then it doesn't line up with the audio anymore so it's good if you always have the reference and can say okay this is this is where my microphone was facing okay you mean the physical object you label it down yeah like oh. just saying okay the front label now in this case is let's say facing the left edge yeah. of that table for example okay so another good tip when you do a recording with the Sennheiser Ambio VR mic, I think the best way to go is like record the Ambio VR mic where the camera is, but still kind of record all the spot sources on, on set, right? So you have maybe an actor talking or you have some noise, and it's good to have this as a special mono source, a dedicated one. And if you do, then it's a good idea to go into post-production and use a plugin like Dear, Dear uh, uh, VR, for example, that enables you to place these mono objects also in the ambisonic sound field. Uh, so before Dear VR, I know that you got uh, people will use Reaper and then we gotta put the single source into the people on top of B format. Yeah. But that is a lot of manual process. So what did this software uh, help? creator to streamline the process or like putting them together? I mean it's it's still a kind of a manual process in the sense that you have to use a DAW to do all this. Mm -hmm. There's more and more um, like uh, video editing softwares that are capable of multi-channel audio. Yeah. That's kind of the main limitation why it's not 
super easy in most video editing softwares, but more and more are adapting spatial audio or like multi-channel audio buses. And it's gonna be uh, easier and easier in the future to do all of this processing with, within a video editing software. Okay. But for now you have to rely on a DAW like Reaper or Pro Tools, where you put uh, a plugin like DAVR in and uh, place the tracks of the, ambi of the, of the Ambio mic and combine that together into a nice sounding mix. Nice. Uh, can you tell us, like, I know like, there's different spatial audio format between yeah. Facebook and YouTube. Yeah. So can you tell us a little bit about that, how do people prep that for the Ambio mic? Yeah, all right, sure. So there, there's actually different kind of formats that are used for 360 video. They all rely on ambisonics, but they can vary like how precise they are. So YouTube, uh, for example, uses what's called first order ambisonics, and it's basically the same kind of order that the microphone has. Facebook at the moment uses second order ambisonics, which is a bit more precise, but you can still use a first order microphone as kind of the bass sound, and then enhance the accuracy with spot microphones. So I think this is a good way and works really well if you have kind of a a room microphone like the VR mic that captures kind of the whole scene mm -hmm. and, and it doesn't have to be super precise, it kind of just captures the whole the whole uh, sound field around you and then you have the spot sources that you can pan into second or even third order ambisonics uh, and then it really have the really precise localization. Um, and yeah, for now YouTube is first order, in the future they might upgrade to second or even third order, uh, we'll see how that goes.